and now it's a powdery snow outside of this warning polygon inside the polygon. That's where the warning is until 645. We want you in that safe spot. How the showers and thunderstorms basically just hit a brick wall as they rolled towards the Ohio River. Heavy rainfall after about midnight that will carry over through Tuesday morning. Colder air rushes back in. We transition back over to snow. See the Boeing feature here as the storm continues to push south and east. That's the wind that is picking up as this drop. Cold front kicking her mean to the curb out to see she goes have that telescope ready to go and you may see that green flashing light flying through the sky which is comet 45 so the old science behind leaf color always has to go back to that seventh and eighth grade biology class beautiful grass below but you don't want to mow your lawn just yet or fertilize out there wait until the end of march have the jacket ready to go as those temperatures are coming down. Spencer Atkins will send it back into you with that football forecast and what we can expect, maybe a couple fadeaway touchdowns in the end zone. Yeah, tomorrow it's a far different story, but tonight we got to get over the hump of the severe weather that is moving into the area right now, back towards our west. We're working into heat as well as humidity, and we have two fronts to work with along with an area of low pressure. That provides lift in the atmosphere. You combine that with a little bit of wind above us at 5,000 feet, and that really steers the car here for severe weather. So as we time everything out for you, once again, showers and thunderstorms start to push towards Chillicothe as well as Piketon right now along US 23 as well as Highway 52. Huntington, 9 o'clock tonight, most likely give or take an hour here with the storms. Huntington, Louisa, all the way out through Fort Gay, down through portions of Inez and Prestonsburg, over towards Pikeville, showers and thunderstorms. Charleston, Winfield, Hurricane Taze Valley, 10 o'clock tonight along the 64 stretch, gusty winds as well as hail and heavy rainfall and vivid lightning concerns. And that continues right on through the 11 o'clock hour as the showers and storms move on in. Little break during the overnight hours and there's your showers tomorrow morning. And then after that, this is crazy. We got snow out there on your Friday. Could see some accumulations in the mountains down below. Really nothing at all because it is just too warm at the surface. So once again, your storm risk for today on a scale of one to five, a low end Charleston northbound southbound two out of five slight risk for severe weather across southern west virginia as well as eastern portions of kentucky the risk all hazards on the table biggest concerns would be the wind as well as the hail and the concern for flash flooding one to two inches of rain on wet soil no good so watch out in those low spots isolated tornado cannot be ruled out especially across southern ohio eastern portions of kentucky you can see that risk highlighted here around five percent out through the bansburg tollsboro area up through chillicothe and piketon Snow forecast, nothing at all down below, up high two to four inches in snowshoes. So this is just a really crazy weather pattern in your seven day forecast. Shakes out like this, 55 on your Thursday, 43 on Friday, and then right back to 80 with sunshine on Monday. Remember, you could download that Storm Tracker 13 mobile app. It is free, available on the Apple and Google Play Store, and you can track the storms like we're doing here in the studio tonight. Jennifer and Patrick, back to you. There's that warm front to the south, straddling the area. The rain showers coming down and along that front, but remaining from Charleston southbound. Notice to the north, not much in the way of coverage up here for your Tuesday. Front comes a little farther to the north as the area of low pressure passes on by, but at that point, we're not looking at too much in the way of moisture, just a couple scattered showers. During the afternoon, the wind direction changes. The front sags further to the south with the showers, a little bit of sunshine, a couple showers come back late and then we get slugged with the moisture again on Thursday. We're expecting generally about one to three inches of rain over the next three days ahead. And the heaviest of that rain is going to be off to the south. Notice farther to the north, it's not much at all. So your storm impact scale will give it about two today. The Tuesday split rain, especially south. But if you're north of US 33, once again, you're likely to see some sunshine. You're likely to see some dry time out there. A little bit more sunshine as we go towards your Wednesday, 73 degrees, still a scattered shower out there. And then we get slugged again with the rain on Thursday. It tries to pull out on Friday. The chances are still there, 64. And then we get towards Mother's Day for good old mom. We get <laughs> rid of most of the showers. We're left over with some windy conditions, but at least the sunshine returns and temperatures up around 70 degrees. Yeah, the wind finally died down today or this morning. Yeah, at least. very, yeah. very blustery yesterday yeah. out there, um, but still a great day with those blue yes. skies and really what a difference a day can make. We noticed that over the weekend we had snow in the mountains in some spots. So it went from spring to winter in 48 hours and now we're kind of doing the same thing today with <laughs> rain and sunshine, rain and sunshine. We're just all over the place. We're just having a big time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Eric.